Hi, in this video we will use Active Directory group policies and Centrify to manage the provisioning of uh, Mac OS portable home drives. As you can see from the posting, portable home drives are the equivalent of Windows uh, you know, mobile home drives. Basically allows end users to have a portable copy of their home directory. So regardless of which Mac they log into, um, you know, their settings get synchronized automatically as well. Uh, we're going to be doing this with Jerry's account on the administrative side and we're going to use the soup Nassi's account on the Mac side. But first, what are the prerequisites? The, the main prerequisite is to have a Windows home directory. So the idea here is to use your Windows home directories to consolidate the user's drives or user's data regardless of they being working on a Mac or on Windows. So for that, um, typically what you have to do is set up a home directory uh, I already have a home directory set up on my app one server as you can see as I create the users I use the percentage username percentage uh, uh, variable to create the folder automatically here so if I look at any user for example soup Nazi right here if I were to look at his account um, uh, if I go to the profile tab uh, ultimately what you want to make sure is that the user has this uh, you know uh, for example, in this case, you, in this case, will be um, app one um, home. And uh, let's just quickly verify here. And it will be the name of the account. So ultimately, what I want to do is percentage username percentage. And this will be created automatically for me. So when I do um, a, a refresh, um, I should see that Supnazi now has his own uh, home directory here. So um, the other thing that we need to do is we need to configure GPOs. So there's two, there's actually three GPOs that need to be configured. Uh, what I've done here is I have a corporate Mac settings um, GPO um, and I'm editing it right here. So the, the settings that I need to set up are basically to, uh, first at the Centrify uh, settings level, I have the direct control settings um, and I need to go to the AD client settings. Uh, I need to make sure that I enable uh, this particular GPO right here, enable AutoZone user home directory, Mac OS. And with that, uh, what I can do is just enable it. And all it does, it, it configures a the auto schema use home directory parameter on the Centrify DC um, config file. Next, um, I am actually already using um, loopback processing. So in, in a real world scenario, you may have different settings and the GPO needs to be scoped uh, properly. But in this case, I'm using the same GPO here and I go to the Mac OS settings on the Centrify settings. Uh, there's a mobility settings tab. And in here, this is another planning um, mechanism here that you need to keep in, in, in mind. Uh, what happens is that um, Apple has changed its mind or settings have evolved over time uh, depending on the versions of Mac OS. I have uh, Mac 10.9 so uh, I'm going to basically enable version specific settings and I'm going to go to my version that corresponds here. So I'm going to configure uh, mobile account creation. I'm going to just enable it and create it open login. That's pretty much it at this point from the uh, GPO side. So we have three GPOs that need to be enabled. Uh, one at the computer level, direct control settings, uh, AD client settings, and uh, uh, enable home uh, auto zone home directory. And then uh, at the user level, we have uh, mobility settings, version specific, and then uh, configure mobile account creation on this specific version. Now all I need to do is go to my Mac and, uh, you know, uh, we're not going to wait for the, you know, interval, uh, 80 flush interval typically, actually uh, the group policy flush interval is typically, I don't know, uh, 90 minutes. So what we're going to do, we're going to run a terminal here and uh, we're going to run uh, ADGP update. Uh, ADGP update is basically GP update for you know, Unix and Linux and Macs. And this is going to refresh the computer policy. Uh, then it's going to refresh the user's policy. We've made changes to both um, uh, GPOs. 
So we'll probably have to log off and log back in. So when, um, you know, when this is completed, I'm just going to go ahead and, and log off. And log back in. And as we log in, uh, we should be prompted to create the home directory. As you can see, uh, I can just basically say create now. Um, notice that you also have GPOs that allow you to eliminate those options if you want to make this mandatory as well. So as the user logs in, uh, the, um, the synchronization items will be populated. So we could actually go to the, and, and take a look at the user's home directory um, and look at, um, you know, refresh. Notice that some folders are starting to pop up here. And notice that these are basically some of the Mac OS uh, structures. So uh, this synchronization is going to continue and it's going to finish. And uh, we will have a, a basically a portable user. We're going to use this uh, use case to build on top uh, we, we're going to be doing file vault 2 encryption and, and that's one of the prerequisites. So I wanted to get this uh, one done first. But uh, let's talk about adjustments. So what are the other things that you can adjust? So when we look at the, at the GPO, uh, enabling the GPO is only the beginning. So there's other things that you can do like set up synchronization rules as of, for example, what items are going to be uh, synchronized or skipped. Uh, we have other options around how is it going to be the synchronization? Is it going to be manual? Uh, you can overwrite the interval time by default is 20 minutes. And there's other preferences as well. So as you look at your implementation, there's going to be adjustments that need to be done. So uh, I'm hoping that this was useful and that you were able to see how portable drives are synchronized. And if I look at now at the user's portable drive, I have this library here. There's, there's not much to be done. So thank you, and I hope this worked for you guys.